No, uh, first of all, uh, Grant and I weren't really looking to do Catch-22. It's a beloved novel, and uh, if you Google it in, a, in the United States, it would say one of the 10 greatest novels of, in American history, so it's a, it's a daunting idea. Uh, Luke and David wrote six great episodes, and they sent them to us, and uh, we felt as if uh, now we're going to have to do it, because quite honestly, you guys do this for a living, we do too. You don't get to read a lot of very good material quite often. I think you all have the, the same experience. Um, so we just decided we wanted to do it. We knew that um, the Mike Nichols film, uh, I remembered it. I hadn't read the book, you know, in 40 some years. Uh, it is a seminal, it was a very, uh, it had great resonance for me when I was a young man. It also, was, it was about the absurdity of war, of course, which is timeless. It's also about bucking the system, which I think still is also very timeless. It's the idea that we can't, you know, you, you can fight as much as you want, but it's really hard to beat the, the system if it's, if it's up against you. And uh, those were themes that felt timeless and felt like you can visit those over and over again. We didn't want it to redo the, um, the movie because, quite honestly, the movie's a very different story and was made in a very different time. This is, it, television actually affords us the ability to tell the story over a long period of time, let get to know the characters before we, before we kill them in horrible ways. So uh, in general, this was a perfect uh, format for us to be able to tell the story. Mm -hmm.